Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing a gaming cryptocurrency that not many people know out there. This is a really unknown secret gaming project um, with a very small market cap and a very small amount of holders. So if that sounds interesting, please leave a like, please subscribe as I do upload every single day on the channel. What project am I talking about? I'm talking about Nakamoto Games. The ticker for this is N-A-K-A. -A. Um, you can buy it on KuCoin, you can buy it on Bitmart, you can buy it on Mexi. There's a lot of places here that you can actually buy this, and that's a testament to the project. So I'm going to be discussing why I'm so bullish on it, how high I think this can go, and what they do as a project itself, right? Obviously, this video is not financial advice. Before investing your money, you should always do your own research as I am not a financial advisor. Okay, so like I said, you can buy on the following exchanges. There's a lot of places you can buy, which is obviously good. That obviously shows that exchanges believe in them, so they're gonna list them. Um, Five million market cap, very, very small. We've seen projects like Axie Infinity go to 10 billion in market cap. So, you know, this could easily 100x in my opinion. A 100x on this would put it at 500 million in market cap. A 1000x would put it at 5 billion in market cap. So arguably even a 1000x is possible. Okay, but I'm not gonna go that far because I know that's very uh, ambitious. So what is this project? This is basically simple, easy to play games kind of like mobile games that really do well, kind of like Candy Crush, kind of like 8-Ball Pool, these types of games, simple to play, accessible to everyone type of games. Now, I'm very, very bullish on this. I actually have a position in Nakamoto games, and I'm going to be inten intending on holding it for the duration of 2023 into 2024 and potentially even 2025 and take some profits. Um, so you can see the types of games that they have here, Bubble Shooter, tank battle they have a candy crush style game they have eight ball pool there's a lot of games out there and i'm going to bring you to this tweet here uh from crypto doey dow hopefully i'm saying his name right i don't even know how to say this he says reasons to believe in nakamoto games was it crypto doe i don't know anyway consistency transparency 400,000 users 150 games Naka Mo mobile app release, so they're bringing out a mobile app. Upcoming uh, metaverse, an inspiring vision for the future of GameFi, and put simply, the team dreams big and delivers. So you can see just here alone all the different games that they actually have on store. You guys think that Gala has a very well diversified game range of like 15 games or whatever it is? Look at Nakamoto games. They have football games, they have basketball games, they have shooters, they have card games. So many different games out there. I'm super bullish on this project because ultimately, what games do people play? People pay, uh, play simple to play, easy games, okay? Yes, some people play niche games like Star Atlas, like these types of games. But ultimately, when you see hundreds of millions of players on games... This comes from the easy-to-play, simple games like Candy Crush, Subway Surfers, and these types of games that did really well. 8-Ball Pool is another one. Clash of, Clan uh, Clash of Clans. I was about to say Clash of Cans. Clash of Clans, okay? Um, so there's a lot of stuff involved in this project. Now, I need to say I'm not sponsored by Nakamoto Games. I'm truly saying this from my personal opinion. And I see a lot of potential in this project as a whole. I've talked to you about the different games they have on store. That's for you to now go and check out. But if you're very bullish on play-to-earn games as a whole, you might as well consider checking out Nakamoto Games. They've got a whole white paper here. I've read into it myself. 17 pages. So it's not the longest white paper in the world, but at least they explain some of their reasoning, some of the things that they're aiming to do. They outline the tokenomics, etc. I really like this project. I mean, look at some of the graphics here. They're actually quite good. And you've got to bear in mind, this is a project very much in its infancy. You can bet when this has 100, in, 100 million in market cap that there's a lot more money going into the development of these games. But I think it's absolutely incredible that a project with 5 million in market cap is able to develop over 100 games that all work and are all very playable in my opinion. Um, so 
see it how you want, but ultimately I think this is an easy, easy 100x, hence the reason I have it in my portfolio. Yes, I'm very, very bullish on some high cap great gaming projects like Gala, but I think it's also good to have some allocation of some low cap gaming projects like Nakamoto Games. So how high do I think this can go? Like I said, easily 500 million in market cap, maybe even a lot more in the next bull run. Talking about tokenomics, you've got 180 million max supply with 64 million circulating supply. So it's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. And you can assume that as the project progresses, there'll be more uh, tokens put into the circulating supply, which will lower the risk of future dilution. Are they active on Twitter? Yes, they 100% are. And they have 170,000 followers on Twitter. So they've actually gained quite an amountable uh, Twitter following. You can see here, December the 1st, they posted. Two hours ago, they retweeted something. January 6th, um, they retweeted something here. Remarkable gaming projects in 2022. So they retweeted something here. And you can see Nakamoto Games is the first one there. So some really great stuff is coming out of this project. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of it. That's why it's not a high market cap. Maybe they haven't done enough marketing. Who knows? But... Once people start to wake up, once people start to see the true potential of this project, how well diversified it is, how accessible it is, how playable it is, the fact they've got play to earn, kind of kind of gambling, arguably, right? Because you're using the tokens to try and gamble and win more. By the way, I'm not an advocate for gambling. I don't gamble, but at least some people can if they want, right? Um, so yeah, super bullish on this project, guys. I know it was a quick video, but I just wanted to get it out there. I'm so bullish on this project. I'm bringing everyone aware to it. Ranked 1056. I'll look back at this video in the future and I'll see the market cap of this. And I reckon in two years time, it will at least minimum 50x, maybe 100, maybe 200, maybe even more than that. Guys, I highly recommend checking out my Patreon group because I do tell these guys when I'm buying, when I'm selling, they can see access to my portfolio. So if you want to see all the great gaming gems that I have in my portfolio, in fact, if you want to see the gems that I'm about to buy in the future, go for the higher tiers. Look at the VIP plus tier. These guys get the consideration watch list. This means they get access to the coins that are hot on my radar and I'm potentially going to buy in the future. If you want that bit more, in fact, a whole lot more, go for the inner circle. This is a finite group of individuals. Highly recommend joining through uh, through crypto. This is how most people join. And basically, before I'm going to buy something, I tell these guys so they can get in even before I do. They can accumulate um, before I tell everyone else that I'm buying into a new gem. Highly recommend checking out the Patreon, guys. The link is in the description. I'm going to have to end this video, guys, because I am ill. Hopefully, everyone's doing good. I'm keeping grinding on the channel, getting out a lot of content for you guys. So do leave a like, do subscribe. And I look forward to seeing everyone in my next video. Goodbye.